Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Anna Gluskin. She's the CEO for Eastgate Acquisitions. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Now I don't really know where to start because I'm so incredibly excited about how you have the ability to change the world. So I think I would like to start by talking to you about diabetes and this proprietary technology you have uh, to give insulin with a pill, a capsule. Is this correct? It's absolutely right. Um, insulin has been around for uh, around 100 years. It was discovered in Canada. It's our pride and joy Nobel Prize. But we still were not able for the past years to give insulin without injections. Insulin is a protein, and the only way it gets into the body is by subcutaneous injection. And what kind of, what are the numbers for the diabetic market in North America, for instance? Well, the numbers keep growing, so what I will tell you probably is outdated already. But we're looking at uh, 50 million people in North America and another 50 million not diagnosed. So potentially becoming diabetic within the next few, day, few years. I repeatedly tell our audience that biotech is a very unique industry sector. And of course, Eastgate is, just, is not just biotech, it's also nutraceutical. Now, you just recently had some tremendous news about the commercialization. Absolutely. Uh, with Purine Pharma, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Tell me about this news. Well, what we have is the combination of nutraceutical and pharmaceutical um, products. And the reason that it's, it works together is because it's the same technology that's used for nutraceutical products and then eventually moves into pharmaceutical. The whole point is that about absorption. If we have an excellent drug and only 10% of it gets absorbed in the body, we are not doing our job. So our technology, it's all about less is more. So we're able to yeah, give less of the product, of any product, and get better results and better absorption. So what we did with, with nutraceuticals is just that. We created products that are patient-friendly. They taste good, they do good, and they're doing the job that, that they have to by absorbing everywhere in the body, whether it's a spray or a drop or, or a cream. Uh, Purine Pharma is a perfect example of our next step from the development of the product to production of it, commercialization, marketing, and distribution. And we're looking forward to a number of products that are going to be distributed in, in overseas markets and we're hoping to get our royalty. Okay, and so this is, you know, this is an excellent distribution deal. It's my understanding that Purine Pharma has, what, over 200 products that excellent. they currently have on shelves? Yes, yes, and they're also manufacturing, so we have an opportunity of keep it in one hand, which is, which is a deal, which is, makes it a great deal. Now, I'm fascinated with your products, in particular your nutraceuticals. Can you tell us a little bit more about your nutraceutical line you have? Nutraceuticals that we have are based on the line of essential oils. And essential oils uh, have been for years an excellent uh, product that, that was able to not just create no, number superficial type of uh, cream drugs, but also given internally. That's very important to stress because everybody who thinks of essential oils thinks of it on the surface of the skin. The essential oils that we are, you know, we're, we're using are basically produced into a drop or a cream, but in our case it's mostly internally. I want to remind our audience that Eastgate not only has this proprietary technology for for giving diabetes a new solution to having to uh, administer uh, their insulin uh, via a needle, but they also have a number of other innovative products. And we were just talking about Ebola before we started this interview. It's my understanding that you uh, have a sanitizer, is that correct? That is correct. We have a hand sanitizer based on citricidal oil, and it is antimicrobial. And I stress that it is not antiviral, it is antimicrobial. But it does help to protect for over one hour hands of people that use it and creates another barrier towards any kind of microbes any viruses like, like, for example, Ebola. We do believe that people should be protecting themselves every single day from what's out there, and we don't even know the extent of it. But what we suggest is first and foremost, wash your hands with hot water and soap. Then use our hand sanitizer, and third, do not be exposed. And your hand sanitizer, is it like the Purell? Is it a gel or are we talking an oil? We have, uh, we have basically a gel and the spray. 
and the spray is very useful because even when we are watching those healthcare professionals that are on the front line of this epidemic that is growing, unfortunately, we're looking at them taking and putting on their gear and their gloves and whatnot, all we're saying to them, use our hand sanitizer, it'll help. So Anna, what else should we expect as shareholders, say in the next six months? What should we expect? What benchmarks are you planning on achieving? I mean, I'm trying to keep up with all the news you have, and the Purine Pharma was really big news this last month. Yes, what should we expect next? That's a very good question, and we're finding ourselves uh, in a position where we have to do it on a number of fronts. We cannot just concentrate on one product. We're going to be uh, looking for fulfillment for our spray. It's very important to get it on the market as soon as possible. It is available right now on, on the net. Uh, we're going to be continuing our work with insulin because that is a life-saving drug and we believe we found a solution for a lot more people to be able to use insulin against the phobia of, of needles. And we're going to be also dealing with our, new, with our drug which is very important for people with a number of seizures. Well, Anna, I have to tell you, you're so interesting. I'd like you to come on regularly and talk me through a number of questions that I have because this is just barely scratches the surface. So thank you so much. Thanks very much, Tracy. Appreciate that.